as a professional applications, as a, uh, as a, as a, as an enterprise level application, is every time you see like as a uh, as like this structure, it's a really big ORM structure, object relational mappings, and you have some entity models. And this is that's I said, this is the one of the really professional example. How can you think about the enterprise application? How it's uh, professionally handle those complex applications? For your use case may be different, but you need to be understand how the the how is structured. So you know, co complex example. So plot. It has many authentication information. One plot has many many ownership informations, and one plot has a uh, one plot has a many payment information. Means if you have a plot, you need to be paid the taxes like the, your income taxes, and even though your 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 yearly taxes for the your your rent, and even though all all things. So that means it's a one plot has many many authentication one plot has many one to many ownership information and then one plot has a one to many uh, one to many plots informations that's i mean uh, in the in reality so if i go to the my project applications if you see the models there's a many models here if you see the building authorization informations if i go to uh, the plot informations it is really designed as like this way so you see the pictures like that so you have the key id primary key id it has the authorized one to many authorizations it has a, a plot ownership information paper information utility and billings information so that means if you are uh, in one plot has a many uh, or has a many many buildings informations uh, building has many buildings and one buildings has a many many floors and one floor has a many 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 units and uh, that's the structure so if i go to the uh one of the maybe one of the the owner information you see the owner info has the owner id address full name type uh, applied date last modified date approval date and status and remark and so on so forth so all it's it's really clearly defined how how the how the entity models how the table will be created and how the, the how the how the how the your your udt names and the key space name that you see the key space name is specified that's i already show you in the application dot properties files in the key space names and here is the key space name into the your in the into the your file system into the application dot yaml file that's i said you can also put it here like application dot aml it's exactly same but depending which uh, which approach you will take over you, you got the idea what i mean how it works so if i go back to again the our our main models so this is our main models that you can start you have many many models here but it, uh, we don't, this is our really enterprise level coverage the application information you don't need to do everything here just i try to give it to you how can you start how can you get the idea so that if you see the structure like project that like if you have a configuration a structure that's i say this is really professional structure of implementing any REST services any spring boot application so it has a main class main methods that's we already talk about this one this is the main class and then you have a configurations you have a controllers all controller definition that we need and then it has a models all the entity models that we already talk about this one the entity models payment models is all the same key space and is independent tables information with its independent uh, informations and so it has a utility information you see that when the utility is connected it has a own id and the address and who is the authority when the utility created modified and submission date approval date for your utility you apply for the utility and when they, they, they when you submit it and when they approved it and then all things is really systematically designed and approved and and and, and properly designed into the done into the uh, Cassandra database and after that this 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 rest api you can build any web application that's that's my, our our intention doesn't matter which type of content technology you are using timely free marker grails or jsp jsf or angular 
angular or react or, or, or uh, view doesn't matter which just you consume that is services i had uh, many videos about that on how can you consume the, the services into the your any font and technology that's the idea to to this but today i try to give it to how can you build uh, the your specific your customized the services uh, based on the Cassandra non-SQL database with the Spring Boot application with all the all the JPA and all the ORM mapping that's the idea to this to 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 this screencast so you see this is properly designed it's mapped and then it's billing information it has all the when the bill ID who will create it who who generated the, the bill when the bill copy of the bills and the uh, type of cost and print and the uh, bill printing copy and amount and the reference number and bookmark and then so on so forth and then end of the day you see the one additional uh, plot id or billing id or floor id and so on so forth this is the really proper way that uh, to design the any big enterprise applications for you case maybe a simple case but i believe that nowadays the enterprise application means you need to be clearly a model that you ORM the or your JPA persistence model doesn't matter which uh, backend server you have Postgres, MySQL or Oracle uh, for the SQL world if you are in the non-SQL world as like Cassandra, Gamefire, Elasticsearch or Redix this does, doesn't, ma doesn't matter I have all the coverage for the for this screencast uh, for the Elasticsearch, Redis, Gamefire and then and Cassandra and so on and so forth. We are continuing the further developments. So we got the idea of what I mean and it has a repository definitions, so all the repositories that we need, that we have. You have some the repository for uh, crude repository, you see the crude repository and then you would uh, define here some some default repository even though you can define your own repository with the code. You see the code repository, you have a paging and sorting repository and even though you have the have the JPA repository depending which type of repository you try to use it it's, it's completely depend on you uh, which functionalities but I, I, I we, we, we put it our source code into the big github you can look for that once for, for clear understanding so it has a service and it sees the service service definition the interface definition and service implementation packet and then utility packet all things together so let's go back to the, our final uh, final projects uh, installation uh, process so you see the our mappings that we already talk about that one details and this is our main applications uh, it's properly works and then all the that same thing how it's designed it like our all the mappings you see the registration with the logging system that's i need to a little bit talk about so this is the covering like uh, the, the applic enterprise application is cover many part of the application there's like content management systems they have a logic logging systems like user registration you have user has to register fast and when it has get the, all the privileges as a user role you see the user registration object is has own information it has a first name last name username and then and then when the user created full name and so on so forth it has a specific role it has different and then the that means you have one to many one to many user roles so one uh, one user has the maybe role admin role executive role or, or or planners or engineers role or our administrative roles and so on so forth that's why we design like as a professional way the user registration with its role so one user has many roles that's why it's one to many related and so one user has a list of low roles so So you see that the roles is defined, it has a role ID, it has a role name and role type and when the role created and it has a simple uh, getter and setter, it has a user type definitions, table definitions and then it has a key space that's why we said I will show you later how can how can you search, how can you query this key space in the Cassandra database that's why I will show you later part of the of the of the of the deployment of the screencast or this one's so complete deployment you you deploy it you tested it postman and check it is it everything is properly launched or properly do the operation could operation with the with the post, post uh, cassandra database i will show you later part of the 
let's have a finished uh, the model part just abstract level information how can you design the ORM object relational mapping with Cassandra uh, Cassandra annotation Cassandra specific annotations but uh, you know that there is a there is simply same generation like entity 